everyone, this is Grant here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today on my What I Learned From series, I want to talk about a gentleman that had a tremendous influence on my life. And to this day, I many, many times I can see how I use examples or how I utilize what I was taught from him. This gentleman's name is Jack Banks. Jack Banks was my boss when I was 21 years old. I went to work for a company in Fort St. John called Baltic Drilling. Well, Baltic Drilling was my kickoff points in professional aviation. I had done a certain amount of small commercial flying before that, but it was my first full-time position, which I had moved out of Edmonton and I had moved to Fort St. John. I was flying a Cessna 206 for Jack, for Baltic Drilling, full-time, living in Fort St. John. And the experiences I got living in Fort St. John, flying that 206, were just extraordinary. I met so many people that is just, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even begin to relate the amount of people that I got to know in a brand new community when I started to fly that 206. But Jack Banks, he was the vice president of Baltic Drilling, and he was based in Edmonton. I had a direct relationship with Jack right from the first day I was hired, right through to the very end of my time, which was a little over three years with Baltic Drilling, and then I went on to other flying and other things. Now, Jack taught me a very specific point. He could instruct me in different ways, of which was sometimes positive and sometimes seemed very negative and very strong because he was the boss. But at the same time, he taught me one specific thing that I remember to this day. And that thing was, when you have a problem, always go to the top. Well, that one small statement, I didn't realize the impact that that would have over the years. When he said that, when you have a problem, always go to the top. You will get the, uh, the right answer when you do that. I remember when he said this to me. It's, it's, isn't this funny? But that was years ago. This is in the early seven, in the middle 70s, I'm sorry. 76, 1976-ish. I remember when he said this. And here it is today, many years later, and I still can just bang, remember, just like it was yesterday. Well, it's so profoundly true that what he told me is that when you have a problem, when you have a situation, always go to the top. You will get the right answer. Over the years I've had other situations, other businesses, other circumstances where I required and to come back to this knowledge that I got from Jack Banks. And it's amazing how it just crystallized, and I thought, oh, I've got this situation. And I did go, years later, to the top to address what it was, and it resolved it. You know, it, it, in my impressions over the years, it's amazing that little things like this crystallizes in your experience. So, Today I want to thank, with the deepest of gratitude, to Mr. Jack Banks, who lived well into his 90s and died not that many years ago, for giving me that one lesson, and I don't even think he realized he gave me that lesson. But he did, and it's with me today, and so, with gratitude, I say thank you, Jack Banks, for aiding me with that and given me that little piece of, of high understanding for just a young guy. I was in my early 20s at the time when I took this position on. So, how about yourself? Do you find that there's these moments that you have this crystallization of something that somebody told you, of which you, oh, bang, yes, the light goes on, and you can relate it back and say, oh, i got to thank such and such, because really, the truth is, they helped me crystallize this knowing that has just helped me through another little piece of challenge in life. 
So that's my my little spiel today uh, on uh, what I know or you know who I have to thank and what I learned from and that just stays with me very strongly and very powerfully so to the end of this little session I just have to say that I learned a great deal and I have the highest respect and honor for such a man as Jack Bank was the vice president of Baltic drilling.